hey you guys welcome back to my channel if this is your first time here my name is ashley i'm a fitness and nutrition coach and certified life coach if you would like to be a part of the fitness fits you community all you have to do is hit subscribe and hit the like button just so you don't forget today's recording is for day 11 of the work hard praise hard walk for you challenge this question that i'm going to answer came off the social media platform so i'm going to just get right into it i need help with portion control i have a problem with rice no i have a rice problem so welcome sis me too not only rice bread pasta anything high in carb if it's high in carb i'm going to overindulge in it i'm going to just sit in it enjoy in it and then later regret it so i want to help you today with portion control and give you some suggestions that you can use throughout your fitness journey the first thing i want you to do is make a list of all the foods that you overindulge in because that's what happened you're overindulging in it and eliminate those foods out of your diet completely yes you're gonna have to go cold turkey on this you're gonna have to sit down and say i can't do rice i'm going to get foods without rice i'm going to get foods without bread i'm going to get my food without a dessert um that if that's what's tripping you up whatever is tripping you up and i'm talking to the lady with the rice issue but i'm really talking to all of us including myself because this is what i had to do when i restarted my keto journey i had to eliminate all of those foods that i love because it causes me to overindulge in them i call them trigger foods we start out with a plan i'm only going to eat two slices of pizza and that is that next thing you know we're sitting on the couch four slices of pizza in with a slice of chocolate cake wishing that we never even touch the pizza in the first place so i want you to just eliminate those foods and not just when you choose to eat them like if you're ordering out or whatever in the house take them out of the house yes your kids will be okay take them out of the house i had to remove cookies and things like and cakes and debbie cakes we had a we look like a convenience store on top of my refrigerator with debbie cakes and i'm thinking like okay these are for trailing snacks and then in the middle of the night i'm snacking on trailing snack he may get one or two and then i'm overindulging because i'm in my feelings or you know i'm feeling a certain way and I'm not thinking, I'm not, I just want to feel good and I turn to food. So now I've eaten not one just to satisfy me, but I've eaten three, you know, just to just sit in it and I'm overindulging and I'm alone, I'm alone and nobody can see me. We thinking these carbs don't count, you know, after 12 PM carbs don't count. Um, <laughs> I don't know what we're thinking when we're doing this, but eliminate everything out of your home that you know you're going to overindulge in. You want to remove them out of your car. I know people with a stash in their car. We stash the snacks in the car like we stash in napkins. Remove them out of your car. And same thing with your work drawer. If you have snacks in your work drawer that you go to when you're frustrated or you just want a snack and you know they're not healthy, you know you're not going to eat one pack of crackers. And I'm talking to me. I love crackers. I don't know if it, it's, it's definitely the crunch and then the saltiness and then don't let it be a peanut butter pack of crackers, Lance crackers. I'm going to eat two packs and not because the first one didn't satisfy me. It just tasted so good and I wanted to feel that taste, that feeling. It's like a feeling that you have. It, you're satisfied, but you just want more because in that moment, it feels so good. So, no take that out of your drawer and snack pantry so some of y'all have the luxury to have a pantry i cannot wait to have a pantry one day but it won't be full of those types of snacks take that out of your pantry as well and you're gonna have to explain to the kids i had to explain to Traylon. listen these snacks trip me up 
they they make me gain weight and you know when i told my son that he was like oh okay mom it's okay we don't have to have those in the house and i tell him when we want a snack or if you want a snack i will take you to the corner store and get you one of those snacks and he doesn't need to have them anyway that often because i'm very particular about bills and i feel like teeth is a bill and when you messing up your teeth that creates a bill and that's an expensive bill because i don't get medicaid so that can be a very expensive bill so i remind him like your teeth have to be on point we can't just lay all the sugar on your teeth to keep your weight down and then with you eating fruits and vegetables you'll get natural um energy from the fruits and vegetables so what i want you to do is find a substitute such as cauliflower rice if you have to have rice find those substitutes for those trigger foods that you like so i found some flax seeds crackers which is a low carb um, cracker if i want a cracker taste and i'll put peanut butter on them um, so find what works for you celery gives me that crunch carrots give me that crunch different things give me that crunch that is still healthy for me so i want you to start finding those substitutes that can substitute out those trigger foods then now that you've done that for a while i want you guys to start practicing reading the back of a label the label will show you a serving size and what that serving size look like we typically will take a bag of chips and say hey or a pack of this or something where we think oh we can eat the whole thing because this is a serving size but if you look on the label it's like this little pack has three serving sizes and one serving size is 19 carbs so if you eat the whole entire thing which we planned on doing anyway we're gonna 19 times three I don't know the math, but just know that that's a lot of carbs in one setting, especially when you, if you're on a low carb diet, you need to stay under 125 grams, 150 grams of carbs. If you are eating just carbs regularly, you have to stay around 200, 250 grams of carbs, which I still think is pretty high, but you got to, um, be mindful of your carb intake, your sugar intake, and sodium. Sodium is a big one. So start reading labels. And now that you've done that for a while, now you can start slowly. And before you start reintroducing your trigger foods in the moment, right before you purchase it or go and get it, ask yourself, am I ready for this? Will I overindulge in this? Am I at a place in life or mental health where... I'm not going to use this as a therapist or as a moment of self-pity where I could just treat myself and I could just overindulge and I can eat a whole cake or a whole raw Oreos. If you're in that state of mind, do not do it. Do not do it. Just, just know that you can have one piece of something and walk away from it. If you can't, then you're not ready but i don't want you to just eliminate these foods for the rest of your life unless you have to there are some people who cannot drink alcohol anymore they have to abstain from alcohol for the rest of their life because one drink turns into two drinks turns into six drinks turns into a car accident turns into a physical altercation with someone turns into neglecting something your job yourself whatever turns into the it just that one drink turns into something catastrophic same thing with food we are no different from an alcoholic we are no different from a drug addict we are no different our choice is different but we are no different so you have to treat yourself as such is that serious and i want you to understand Food addictions are real and food consumption, overconsumption, if you want to, don't want to say you have an addiction, it's still a real thing. I still treat myself no different than I would recommend uh, someone would do, do drugs or abuse alcohol, same treatment. We might need a seven step program for food addiction as well.
So I hope this video was very helpful for you. I hope you guys got your 10 minute walk in today. Don't forget to hashtag WHPH walk for 30 and at work hard, praise hard on social media so tiana can know that you are walking with us you're committed to this challenge with us this is going to get you moving if you're not working out and you're not doing anything just get in community like it's so good to know that somebody is having the same struggles and somebody is doing the same thing to get out of that struggle with you you do not have to do this alone i'm doing this as well if you follow me on um, fitness fits ashley on instagram you'll see in my stories that i post my watch as well to show my commitment to this challenge and i thank you guys again for watching and always remember fitness fits you